Hey guys, Kristen Leake here. Today is Q&A Monday. So I have a question from Abuka who asked me a fantastic question that I never even thought about sharing with you. So let me show you what that's all about. So Abuka asked me, were you able to work while you were at the boot camp? I am thinking about working so that I can pay for it. So that's a really good question. There were a number of us actually in a full-time coding bootcamp, uh, Tech Talent South, and we had part-time gigs. So I was a WordPress developer at the time doing contract work. And another of my um, colleagues was working at a, like a clothing store, I believe, something with retail. And then another person I know of was doing like marketing slash graphic design sort of stuff. So um, we mostly worked in the afternoons, like late afternoons after class. And let's see, I worked a lot of weekends. Like it got to where it was stressful to try to do homework and also uh, work on WordPress stuff. And so I would just cram in a bunch of hours on the weekend and it did get to a point after the second week where I had to ask for less hours. And I am very, very grateful that I had an employer who, you know, really appreciated that I was in a coding boot camp and was willing to help me out in that way. So I, I think I was really fortunate in that manner. But I do know um, one of my friends in a class uh, did work a lot and like it got to where he was oversleeping and we get to class late. So it, it can be really stressful. And like I said before, like do not underestimate how long it takes you to do homework in your projects. Like you are new to this and it's gonna take you a long time to where you will be up late. And if, if I could go back and do it all over again, I probably would have immediately just moved back in with my parents to do coding boot camps, I would not be stressed out about rent, paying groceries, and so forth. Um, it's not uncommon for people to do that. I've actually met someone who was married with a child who moved in with um, his uh, father and mother-in-law. So, I mean, people make sacrifices so that they can focus 110% on coding boot camps. There's obviously more than one way to do it, and you have to look out for yourself. And yeah, so it is possible to do it for full-time coding bootcamp. I don't recommend it. It's not fun at all. So if you can avoid it, definitely avoid doing that and just do some other options that you have available for yourself. But you know, there's, there's also part-time coding bootcamps. Like I've mentioned before, there are online bootcamps and then some classroom bootcamps also have part-time. So it's like evening classes. I know Tech Talent South does that. There aren't many that do it, but hey, um, they're making changes every single day to programs. So just do your research and find something that will cater to your lifestyle. So I hope you guys find that helpful. If you like this, please like this video. Give me an idea if you like Q&A Monday and uh, subscribe if you haven't. And I will talk to you guys later.